we just pedaled up to this little thing in the mangroves. Have to check it out. I don't have a pen, but check it out. Is that over you sign in where you were at? Yo, I just spooked something right there, bro. Did you? Yeah, we're about three and a half, four foot. That wasn't mullet that I spooked. So I seeing this white top water, being that the conditions are kind of gray and stormy. Overcast. Let's see what happens. Nice redfish. Pretty sure that was a redfish. Well, if this wind would give me a chance and not freaking blow me off my spot. And there goes that. Don't go too much closer because they're all on that line. There we go. Yep. Redfish. Oh, it was snook. <laughs> That's like, yeah, a little one, but I crushed it. Bad start. There you go. Let's see if there's a big snook waiting for it. Something swung at it. Jacked it all up just there. Oh, something just hit it again. Oh, just got whacked again. Something little. I'm just messing with it. I'm angling myself. I'm just letting the wind push me so far and then I'll paddle against it to put my nose that way. Oh my god. You didn't see that? Nice snook. Oh, he just whacked it. Come on, come on, come on. Damn. Get his little baby snooklet. I was reeling it in fast just to do another cast and he came and smacked it. Gotta give him an A for effort. Beautiful little guy. Gotta love this wind. I love it. Pushing me into the mangroves. Getting me stuck. 
But you adapt and overcome, I guess. Do what you gotta do. Well, if I can get positioned correctly, and this wind would give me at least a minute to work this bait properly, I can probably catch you guys a decent snow. Oh, there you go. There you go. Not a big one. Nice little snook, but it's a snook. Perfect for these. There you go. Another one. Yeah, they're there. They're sitting in that front of the mangroves waiting for white bait to come out. Another perfect release. Like I was saying, they're sitting about, I don't know, eight, ten feet in front of these mangroves and just waiting for little glass minnows and pinfish to come so they can ambush them. Alright, another one of these little thingamabobs that we found earlier. Yeah, that one's nice. I wonder what's in it. I guess this spot isn't that secret. Well, I, I would like to go on to the uh, website. For sure. I have found this, you know? A pin and a notepad. Huh. Is that in there? I don't know. Nope, there's another one of these things. I don't know. Same thing that was in the last one. This one was. Says official geocatch. Yeah, geocatch. Do not remove 10, 30, 17. I hear two years. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 people. What's the last one? Mark. Huh. Pretty cool. Leave a couple bucks for the next guy. Oh my god. There you go. Oh man. Yeah, they're right there in that corner. Bunch of dinks, but they're snook. I said they're a bunch of dinks, but they're snook nonetheless. Awesome. Yeah, there are. I mean, saw that blow up that I had. Nice little baby. Pretty sure I found another one of those 
geocache things. Let's check this one out. over there killing the babies oh it's cute <laughs> apparently some little kid was here oh that's cool it's really cool so we got a train two planes Sign in. Let's see, April. April fifteenth was the last day. Somebody was here. It's awesome. I dropped the jig in the last one. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but... You know what? This little one has caught me plenty of fish, so... It's come from Georgia all the way here, and this is its final resting place. Here's my contribution to the box. finds this next and sees this little jig in here know that Flat's favorite fishing was here. I don't know why they're not getting hooked. Let's see if this little guy does the trick. Got hit again right there. There it is. <laughs> Bunch of dinks, but <laughs> it's fun. Oh man, he choked that. Look at that. Peace. Come on, baby. Quick little surgery on you. It's already on it. Yeah. Yeah. Pull my pants down. There we go. It's a little bigger. Still a dink, but it's. There you go. Double up.
All right, baby. Where's mommy and daddy? Yeah, the cookie cutter. Yep, we found the nursery for sure. They're pretty though. Oh, oh. Not bad at all. Snuck. I don't know why they're not. They're swiping, but there he goes again. There you go. What a mess. Alright, after that disaster, finally got him off. Alright guys, I'm here editing the video, um, the footage. Couldn't get to do an outro because we got slammed with storms. As always, Southwest Florida this time of year we got hit. Um, as you guys saw, we went on the kayak. My buddy and I, we, uh, I didn't expect to paddle that many miles. It wasn't, I guess it was, I'd say five or six miles. It wasn't the mileage, it was the current, paddling against the current. But we made it. Um, as you guys saw, we hit that little landlocked lake. We found this sweet little nursery, a bunch of snook. We were on the snook like crazy. I saw a couple of tarpon rolling, and I'm pretty sure those are red that hit my top water on that first uh, first couple minutes we were there. However, those geo catching things was pretty sweet. Um, I didn't exp I didn't even know a what that was. Um, I just looked it up. I guess geo. If you guys go www.geocaching.com. You guys can see it right there. Is it zooming in? Is it focusing? All right. If you guys just hit www.geocaching.com. I was doing a little research. I did, I'd never seen it. Didn't know what it was. Apparently, it's like a uh, it's like a hide and seek type thing for paddlers or hikers, outdoorsmen. It's actually pretty sweet. I'm actually gonna download it and check it out. Probably hit some with my wife. Um, if you, you folks at geocaching, if you guys are seeing this or or watching this hit us up I mean maybe we can do something together maybe we can I don't know it's I'd like to do a little bit more and then if you guys know what it is if you guys are familiar with it and you look it up and you see where I was then now you know where I was fishing but um but yeah that's all I have for you guys uh unfortunately we tried to get some bigger snug but the little ones were catching or biting um if you guys aren't already following us, follow us on our Instagram. Right there, Flats Fever. And hit us up on our Facebook page as well. As you know, we've already hit our 100 subscribers. And it's just going up from here. Um, as always, I thank you guys. We love you guys a lot. We wouldn't be here without you guys. So if you guys liked it, hit that button. Like. Subscribe, share with your friends. Until next time, we love you guys. Take care. God bless.